Hi, my name is Marianne Duda. I'm a registered veterinary technician and I have been working at Veterinary Specialty Hospital for about 11 years. Most of the patients that I deal with on a daily basis, whether they're hospitalized or whether they're outpatient, have definitely been prescribed oral medications that they need to take meaning you are going to have to pill your dog at home. And that can be kind of a scary thing if you've never had to give medications to your dog before. All right, come on baby girl. So the first thing that you want to look at when you're going to give your dog a pill is positioning. So where is she located in the house that is gonna make her feel most comfortable and it's gonna be easy for you to give a pill to her. So I suggest just in, in the kitchen or you could do it in her bed or if she likes to sit on the couch, some way where she's not gonna feel threatened that you're coming at her with something bad and um, she'll feel comfortable. That being said, there are three ways that you can try to orally medicate your dog. The first way would be to just put the pill into a little bit of a meatball or some food. And then hopefully, when you do that, take the pill, put it in the food. You could take a little piece of chicken, a little piece of low-fat cream cheese, or even some peanut butter. And what you would do is you would take the pill and you would hide it into the meatball. And so now the pill is in there and Ryder doesn't even know it's in there. <laughs> and she just eats it down. However, there could be a when you take your dog home from the hospital, it could also happen where they're not feeling good and they don't want to eat. So when that's the case, it's not always going to work in food. You, we also sell these pill pockets at, at the hospital, and what they are is a little treat that has a hole in the center of it, and what you can do is hide the pill into this treat. So you just kind of put it in there, and then you kind of smoosh it around, and then you give the treat to your dog, and she eats it up. Don't, doesn't even know she's had a pill. Some dogs are very smart though, they can smell it, and what they'll do is they'll eat around the, they'll eat the food from around the pill and then spit out the pill. So you can try the food again or you can go to the next alternative, which would be to just give your dog the pill by manually putting it down her throat. What you would do, you're gonna use both of your hands, so you would take your left hand, or your right, if you're right, left-handed, either way, and then you would kind of grasp the top of her muzzle with your thumb and middle finger on the one hand, and then you're gonna use your other hand to, you're gonna use the middle finger on your other hand to pry her bottom jaw down, and then while you're holding the pill in your index finger and your thumb, you're gonna pop it down her throat. And what you wanna do is make sure that you put your hand in there so the pill is going pretty much all the way down her throat, and so she just has to swallow it like that. So I'll demonstrate how we would do that. So I have my pill in my hand. I just kind of lift up and I pry, tilt her head back, boom, pry it back. Now the pill's down her throat. She swallowed it. I give a little bit of a rub on the throat so she actually for sure swallows. So then you just kind of lift up, pour a little bit of water in there, and there you go. And then she has to swallow and so that pill goes down. Some pills can be irritating to the esophagus, so your veterinarian will probably let you know that you're gonna wanna follow a pill for sure with water or with food. The third way that you can pill your pet is to use what we call a pet piller. It's also called a pill gun. And what it is, it's this instrument right here and it has a rubber tip on one end and it has a little lever which you depress on the other end. And what you do is you put the pill in the rubber end and then you in insert this into your dog's mouth and then you depress the lever and then the pill pops out into the back of their throat. So now the pill is down her throat and what you're going to do then is you're going to, like we did before when we put the pill down with our hands, is just lift her head up, rub the throat a little bit so she licks, and then you can squirt in a little bit of water again like we did before. If your pet won't tolerate you trying any of these methods that we just went over, what you can do is talk to your veterinarian about having them prescribe you a compounded medication, which what they do is they'll call the pharmacy and they can formulate your medication into a liquid and they can make it taste like chicken or beef or whatever flavor that you feel your dog might like, fish potentially. And then what you can do is just syringe that medication into their mouth just like we did with the water syringe. If you have any questions or concerns, you're always welcome to call the Veterinary Specialty Hospital. There's a technician here on staff 24-7 that can walk you through pilling your dog.